All right, gonna show examples of pagan occult Illuminati symbolism in Islam, the Islamic pagan occult Illuminati symbolism. Because Il Islam, all it is is just simply Luciferian enlightenment. It's Luciferian false enlightenment. And here's an example of this. So here you got an image of the Eye of Horus of Islam, where it has, again, I, I pointed this out in one of my other videos, how you have the Satanic Trinity, you have the Eye of Horus, the Eye, the mark of the beast going into your hand in Revelation 13. You have the Antichrist there in the middle. Then you have Satan represented by Allah. Then you have the false prophet represented by Muhammad. The Satanic Trinity is depicted in this image right here. And again, notice the Illuminati all-seeing eye going into the fore, into the fore, sorry, into the hand like the mark of the beast will. It's nothing more than just simply Luciferian false enlightenment. It's a foreshadowing of the Antichrist with the Satanic Trinity right there with this Illuminati symbolism in Islam. The all-seeing eye of Horus, say, well, the ancient pagan symbol, is being depicted in Islam. Now here's another example of that same symbol. It's called the uh, the, ha the Hamza hand symbol. Yeah, it's called the Hamza hand, I think is what it is, where it's a hand with the eye right in it. And you have all this esoteric symbolism. You have the pyramids, you got all the, the moon symbolism. It's witchcraft. Islam is essentially just pagan witchcraft. That's all it is. This is a foreshadowing of the Antichrist, and you got the pagan moon, crescent moon symbol down there with the star in the middle of it. Islam is Illuminati occult Luciferianism. Now here's another picture of the word Allah. I showed this in my other video of the word Allah uh, in this pagan six-pointed, sorry, eight-pointed star symbol. This hexagram, sorry, sorry, not hexagram, eight-pointed star. I keep mix, mixing up with the hexagram. This uh, eight-pointed star symbol, you got the word Allah in this pagan occult symbol. Showing who the God of Islam really is, he's a, a he just he just basically Baphomet in a different form. And I'm not saying that because I hate Muslims. I actually want to tell them the truth. I love Muslims. That's why I tell them the truth about their satanic cult of Islam. That is a Arabian uh, occultic Illuminati Luciferian moon lunar cult. Basically, it's a lunar Luciferian cult. And I, again, I don't hate Muslims by saying that. I'm just telling them the truth. Here's an example of the Luciferian enlightenment on this crescent moon. You got the sun and then you got the moon right there representing, you know, white and black, the uh, the occultic, very extreme occult significance of that. Then you have the on top of a mosque. Why would they have this occult symbol on top of a mosque? Why? Because they're showing who they're worshiping. They're worshiping a, a Middle Eastern lunar deity. And they're showing that by the symbol. You got the star and you got the moon right there. It's the altar to the moon. Here's an example of, I like to use this as an analogy, this pagan Egyptian thing, this pagan Egyptian inscription of the sun shining down, and then you have this Egyptian here, who I like to, I like to use an analogy as a Muslim, raising his hands up to the sun, praising his God. This is a pagan Egyptian, you know, version of the Muslim, you know, ver, uh, Muslim concept of praying to Allah. Because you have the Muslim here praying to his, his uh, sky god Allah, his solar lunar god Allah. And you have, them, you, have the, you have the lunar god Allah shining down his Luciferian enlightenment down to the Muslim who is being all pious trying to worship that. It's a good analogy of pagan Muslim moon worship, solar worship as well. Like it talks about in Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 16 and Ezekiel chapter, sorry, in Jeremiah chapter 8 verses 1 to 2. Sorry, I've been, I've been lacking some sleep so I'm a little bit tired right now. Here's the final picture I'm going to show. Uh, you have one side is the mosque, the mosque at Mecca, with that pagan moon symbol. Then you have that same moon symbol on, you know, on a pillar essentially, in this ancient Mesopotamian uh, inscription, this ancient Mesopotamian uh, artifact. So they borrow that same symbol. It's no different. Islam is just pagan Arabian Middle Eastern moon worship. I've said this before, but Islam is just Illuminati Luciferian enlightenment. It's it's from it's a satanic cult. And I don't hate Muslims, I want to tell them the truth. If I hated Muslims, I wouldn't tell them the truth about their satanic, Luciferian, Illuminati cult. And uh, I just wanted to show you that. So those, those are just a few examples of the Illuminati symbolism, occult symbolism in Islam. Islam is, again, just Luciferian false enlightenment. Islam is not, uh, is not the religion of the Old Testament, it's not the religion of the Torah, neither is Talmudic Judaism. Talmudic Judaism is every bit as wicked and occult and esoteric and Illuminati filled and witchcraft filled as Islam is. Islam is essentially just Luciferian. It, it's basically paving the way for the Antichrist. It's a satanic counterfeit to 
the Bible. It's, it's, it, like what Muhammad did was he took pagan Arabian religion and mixed it in with the Old Testament. So don't be deceived by Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.